Hi everyone, and welcome to another video where I give my insights on effective ways for research. An essential part of the research workflow is writing, and the very first step in writing is writing a draft. When writing a draft, a researcher should be able to focus on just that, writing. Therefore, the tool for writing should offer a clean and clutter-free environment that promotes focus and eliminates unnecessary fluff. I find that typesetting in Markdown achieves this objective. Here's a quick outline of the video with timestamps in case you are familiar with Markdown and just want to skip to further parts of the video. Markdown is an editing syntax built on the paradigm of what you see is what you mean. This means that the way you are writing is displayed in a readable way, but it may not look exactly the same after publishing, as certain elements only render after compiling. You can think of Markdown as the middle ground between Word and LaTeX. You get the benefit of the accessibility of Word with the easy transfer to LaTeX when richer formatting is required. There are many Markdown editors out there, and you should experiment with them yourself. But the one that I found to be the most suitable for drafting academic papers is Zeppler. And I will explain why in the following demonstration of the app. Zeppler is a free and open source software that is available for all operating systems. You can find the download link in the description of this video. Once you've installed and run the app, you will see the following window. Before using Zeppler, you are first required to specify a root directory for your work. Think of this as the main folder that keeps all content you create on Zettler. I suggest that you choose a folder within your Dropbox folder. That way, you will have backups for all your writing if something happens to your computer. You are not limited to a single directory. You can have multiple directories open simultaneously. Next, I'll give a quick overview of what you can do with Markdown. First, headings. Headings and subheadings are introduced by inputting a hashtag symbol corresponding to the level of the header. One for a main heading, two for a subheading, and so on. You can collapse headers to have a more focused look at where you are currently working. You can also quickly navigate to any header from the table of contents toggle at the top bar. Bold and italics are added by wrapping the text with one or two star symbols. You can also use the usual Ctrl B or Ctrl I to adjust highlighted text. Bullet lists can be written with a simple dash, star, or plus sign at the beginning of the sentence. Sub-bullets are simply written by tabbing. URL links are set by using the following syntax. Where you have the desired text of the URL inside the square brackets and the URL itself within the following parentheses. You can navigate to the URL by clicking while holding the control button. Images can be inserted in a similar way where you specify the path of the image. I find it easier to just drag and drop the image into the editor. However, keep in mind that if the image is no longer in the path, then it will no longer render. So I suggest keeping the images in the same directory in your Dropbox. You can add a block of code using three backticks, followed by the language you are coding in. The code will be highlighted based on the syntax of the chosen language. For a list of supported languages, check the Zettler documentation. For mathematical typesetting, Zettler supports KTEC, which renders simple LaTeX syntax. You can wrap text in single or double dollar signs for inline and block math rendering, respectively. Next, I will talk about some features that are exclusive to Zettler. The first feature I want to talk about is internal file linking. If you wrap text within a double square bracket, the app will search for a corresponding page within the directory that matches this text. 
If no page is found, you can control click the text to create that page. This is useful when you want to refer to another page or if you don't want to write something in the main page and rather write it elsewhere until it is polished. You can come up with your own use for this feature. The second feature I want to talk about is tagging. Just like Twitter, you can create tags that are searchable within your directory. This enables you to find relevant information quickly without having to scour through all your different documents. Another cool built-in feature that promotes work without distraction is the Pomodoro timer. You can set it from the upper right corner. First you set the duration of your work session, then the break between sessions, then the long break, which is after four completed cycles. Last but certainly not least, I will cover bibliographies which are an essential part for any serious academic manuscript. Zettler offers a seamless built-in integration with the free citation management app Zotero. You can choose your Zotero BibTeX library from the settings menu. Once you have your reference library set up, you can simply add citations using the add symbol followed by the citation key. The citation will immediately render as you press enter. You can view a list of references by toggling the Attachments tab on the top right corner. Zettler also has a few quality of life features that you can customize in the settings menu. I will go over some of my personal favorites. You can change the theme of your editor. Personally, I like the night mode when working in dim environments or at night. You can also set it to switch automatically at night. You can add a spell checker for the language you are using. The autocorrect feature allows you to convert certain character sequences into special symbols. You can also create your own, which you can define to act as shortcuts to otherwise long text that you usually input. Zettler offers several exporting features. The first is exporting to Doc, which is compatible with Microsoft Word. This is a great option if you use Microsoft Word to format papers in accordance to the requirements of a journal. The next two I would like to cover are PDF and Tech. First, to export to PDF, you need to download Pandoc, which is an open source and free software that handles text conversions. It's fairly easy to install and you can follow the instructions on the help menu. Finally, you can export to tech. But this requires an installation of a tech distributor such as MicTech. You can do that through the help menu too. This is all I have to cover for now. If you like this video or found it useful, then give it a thumbs up. Check out my past videos on how to improve your research workflow and sub for more. You can also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date on video releases as well as other small tips and tricks. Thanks for watching.